Welcome back to session six of the JA Career Success Program. In today's activity, you will need the table tents, the career guides, the job requirement cards, the high growth job profile cards, and what you'll notice is that there are four cards and then there's a spacer sheet to indicate where the next set occurs. So each group would want to get four of those cards. And then the career success toolbox. This, ex this activity talks to the students all about high growth jobs. We want to make sure that when they actually get out um, into the real world and um, as they've completed their education, that the jobs that they desire are going to be available. And so this is exploring what some of those jobs are and what some jobs might be that they want to focus on throughout their schooling. The introduction provides some great talking points to introduce this topic and then the activity has a few steps to it. The first step is to distribute the career guides to all of the students. What we want to talk about is that um, there's kind of three parts to finding the perfect job for you. One is to consider your skills, one is to consider your interest, and the other is to consider the job outlook. And so those are the three components to this activity today. The first thing you're going to start with is to talk about skills and how we get those skills. The book suggests that you have the students work in small groups or individually to look at this um, graph and to kind of just mention what sticks out. We would encourage you to hold this as a whole group conversation and talk about this as a large group. Um, basically the point is that they're trying to get us to see that the skills that we need to be able to do a job often comes through education. And so this graph and the talking points in the guidebook will help you uh, guide the students through the discovery of skills and the connection to education. The second portion is to have them consider the 16 career clusters. The centerfold of this guide walks you through all 16 career clusters. The book encourages the students to take seven to 10 minutes to explore these and to, to mark which ones might be of interest to them. Again, the connector is that we want to have the skills to do a job well, but we also want to be interested in what we are doing. We would encourage you to potentially have the students look at this um, on their own and kind of star some of their top ones, but more than likely they will not need seven to 10 minutes to complete this portion of the activity. And in our experience, they were disengaged um, with that long of time. So I would give them three to four minutes to explore this and then to once again, bring it whole group and allow the students to talk about some of them that interest them. If the students don't have the opportunity to get through all 16 career clusters, um, if you shorten that time frame up, a lot of times the students will highlight different ones and so intrinsically they'll be able to hear about the 16 clusters and they can also take this with them to explore more on their own. The final part of the activity is having the students actually look at some of the job outlooks that are in our future. The curriculum highlights the STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, and math. The specific um, baby boomer centered products and industries um, portion, as well as the skilled trades that um, have often been overlooked um, due to four year colleges as well. So those are the ones that they're going to highlight. The book suggests that you split the students into small groups and to give them each um, one set of these profile cards and a job requirement worksheet. What they are supposed to do is they are supposed to tear these cards apart and decide which profile these job requirements go to. So for example, the students can spread them out and once they tear them apart, they can just put the card right on top of the profile that it is applying to. And then at the end, you can come back whole group and have a discussion um, regarding some of those findings. The answers are laid out in the guidebook to help, um, help you guide your discussion if need be. One adaptation we would um, ask you to com consider is instead of giving every group all four cards, what you could do is give each group one of the cards and have them choose which five of the job requirements match their card. 
And then what you can do is you can bring it whole group and have each of the um, each of the different jobs share which cards they chose. And if there's any overlapping answers, then you can talk about um, why they thought what they thought and um, correct any um, misanswers that there might be. To wrap up today's lesson, you can um, have the students um, put their um, career guide in their toolkit for future reference and have them write down one of the jobs or one of the career clusters that they'd be potentially interested in researching more and there's a website listed here where they can get some additional information after the JA class. Enjoy session six!